Hi everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well, this one is gonna be another product review. Full disclosure, I was sent this product by the company that makes it to do a review on it. If they like it back, I'll be glad to return it just as long as they pay for shipping, my standard policy. So I'm just gonna do a review of this. It's from Windbridge and I've reviewed their products in the past, more than once actually, over the past, I don't know, three years maybe. This particular model is similar to the ones I've looked at before, which are voice amplifiers. It comes with a nice strap that can either go around your neck or it could go around your waist, whichever way you'd like to do it. Easy to attach and detach, nice strong band. This is the model 801, the M801. Just last year, I reviewed their model 800. Now, the difference being is this one is a bit more powerful and has a few more features to it including some options like being able to play music, talk and record at the same time. For example, it has the ability not only to be used with the provided wireless headset, which uses Wi-Fi and is supposed to be good to about, oh, I don't know, 50 feet or so at least. But in addition to that, you can also connect up a um, phone, a smartphone using Bluetooth or you could put in a USB stick or an SD, a micro SD to be specific. So it's a little one right here. It has a slot for that. It has a regular USB port as well. This particular model has uh, OD green around the middle of it and black on the front and the back. Previous models have had different configurations and different looks to them. They did do on this one, which I saw in one of their earlier ones that I did sort of you know, take points away for is they have this stainless steel or chrome band around the speaker. You know, I don't think it should be there. I think it should be all black so that it becomes, you know, non-discreet for the people who are going to use it. Now, the use cases for this uh, abound. For example, they could be a tour guide, somebody working at an amusement park. Summer's about to start. I'm sure a lot of people have got summer jobs doing this, right? It can also be used by sports coaches marching band it's for the same reason all outdoors and this will project your voice quite a bit this one has 20 watts to it as well as opposed to the previous model that i reviewed last year it was only 18 watts to it they've also improved the battery so that this battery is supposed to last at least 12 hours and supposedly takes only three hours to charge now what i do want to say about that if you read the manual which by the way provided manual is very good goes through all of the features and how to use them when you first plug in the charger, it'll show, at least in my case, but apparently it's quite common because they have it in the manual, 100%, but it's not 100%. You still have to charge it for at least three hours to make sure, you know, out of the package that you've got it fully charged. Just a little heads up on that. Now you also have to charge the headset. Both of them use USB-C type connectors and what they provided in the package is a splitter cable. It has USB-A for power transmission only, really, and two USB-C connectors on it. So you can be charging both the speaker and the headset simultaneously. And I just did that prior to starting this video, and it worked out fairly well. They also, to my surprise, they actually give you a power brick, a 5-volt power brick. I don't see that being done too much lately in some of these packages that require USB charging. But they did give that to you, so that's a big plus. Now, in terms of that 100% versus not 100%, I did what I normally do. When you start using it, it charged the headset rather quickly. The thing has four little dots on it that are blue dots, and they'll show you <clears throat> to what degree it's charged. When I first plugged it in, it had three dots, which meant 75%. It took only about, I don't know, 30 minutes for it to actually charge the remaining 25%, and then I disconnected this. I left this on the power supply just to make sure I did the three hours and one thing I kept doing every so often was checking the power brick this is something a trick I learned years ago where if you touch it it'll tell you if current is being drawn through it through the heat that it's generating it's very noticeable so what else do they give you they give you what looks like about an 18 inch 3.5 millimeter uh, TRS cable that's if you want to plug into a tape plater or some other device, maybe an older phone that uh, you could use that would actually uh, support this to connect up 
to the 3.5 inch port that's on the actual speaker itself. And then you can play that sound through it. In addition to obviously playing the sound through the USB and or the micro SD. So those are the different features to it. I have with me a couple of samples that I will actually run. For example, the um, as I showed you, I have my USB and my SD card, and I'll play those through here at one point. But obviously the most important thing for me to test is to get this headset connected to this. It's supposed to pair up automatically, and we'll see when I turn it on whether or not it does. So let's get started with that. Stick around to the end, and you will have seen this thing in all its glory and all the different features that it, it is capable of doing. Okay, here we go. Let's do some testing of it. If I turn it on, you have to hold this center one for about three seconds to turn it on. It says hi, 100% battery, and it gives you a little dit 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 dit. Now the headset, there's a little power button on the opposite side from the charging port. So here's the USB-C charging port, and on the other side is a little button. You hold that down for three seconds. The light comes on. When it connects, you get green dots indicating the power level. Let me test it out here. I'll put my microphone down. I'll put this up like this. I'll put the headset on. Okay, here we go. That's coming through the speaker. I could change the volume pretty easily. It has the plus and minus volume up at the top buttons here. A lot of these buttons have multiple purposes to them, so you've got to really read the instructions uh, to find out what they are, depending on whether it's a short hold or a long hold. You want to make it louder, there's this button here, and the little scale on the top. You hold it down for three seconds, and you see the thing start to go up in terms of volume. You hit the opposite one for on the opposite side of the power switch, and it does this opposite. It goes down. You've got to hold it for three seconds to do that. Get it down to about 10 right there. That's good. So that's the uh, sound as you can hear it coming through here. I'm further far enough away from it to where you're not hearing me nearby at this point. It's only going to be going through the uh, amplifier. Let's try some options here. I am going to plug in. Let's try the SD card first. Now this is completely waterproof. I may not have mentioned that earlier. And the way you do that is you have these little rubber things that can be closed up on it. If we stick the SD card, micro SD in this case, I have some music already, freeware music already put on there from YouTube. Be very careful with this, I already had the thing fly out on me. It clicks when it sees it. short hit on that, it actually goes to the next one, to the next song on there. If you hit a short hit on this, that goes backward forward. So there you go, you can hear it coming from there, and also you can hear me talking at the same time. So if you're a tour guide or a coach, you can be playing some music, or at least, you know, something at different volumes than what's coming out of your headset. You want to stop it, you got to hit the mode switch until it says microphone, like this. Whoops. There we go. Now it turned it just to microphone, this little mic indicator inside the screen. You take that out and put a regular USB. I always have trouble with these. My nails are not that long. There we go. Got it out. Now let me put a USB. This has different music on it. This USB stick. It's a 2.0. Automatically went to USB. And now it's playing those songs. And I can switch it. stop that and just go ahead and hit mode again until I get to mic only. Now this can also record to the USB stick. There's a separate button on top here for record. 
you do short pulses to get it to start recording and stop recording, and a long pulse in order to listen to what it's recorded. So let me go ahead and do a test. Do a short. It starts counting. Okay, this is a test of the record function to USB while I'm doing my video, showing how this thing works. Let me call this recording number one, and I'll make a second recording as well. Let me stop this now by just short hitting the record button. Now it stopped again. Back to Mike. If I hit it again short, we're starting a new recording now. This is a second recording that I'm now playing, or recording from what I'm saying through the headset. I'll do another short pulse on this second one to stop it. And there we are. Now if I wanted to listen to what I recorded, I hold a long hit. I hold it down for at least a couple of seconds. And it'll start playing the first one that it sees, which is in reverse order. We're starting a new recording now. This is a second recording that I'm now playing. Or recording. We're starting a new recording now. This is a second recording that I'm now playing. Or recording from what I'm saying through the headset. I'll do another short one to stop it. It starts counting. Okay, this is a test of the record function to USB while I'm doing my video, showing how this thing works. Let me call this recording number one, and I'll make a second recording as well. Let me stop this now by just starting a new recording now. This is a second recording that I'm now playing, or recording from what I'm saying through the... I had to actually hit the mode button to take it out of the record mode completely. Okay? Now you can take this USB stick, put it on your computer, and as I'll show on the screen right now, you can actually see the directory of this with the two recordings that I put on it. It starts counting. Okay, this is a test of the record function to USB while I'm doing my video, showing how this thing works. Let me call this recording number one, and I'll make a second recording as well. Okay. So that's the record function. We got the microphone function, the basic microphone function. Uh, the only thing that I didn't show is using the smartphone. So I got to transfer a song of some sort to my smartphone. And once I've done that, I'll come back and we can test. Okay, let's connect the Bluetooth. The first thing I have to do is use the mode button, the M button all the way at the left here, and hit it until it says Bluetooth. There we go. Now I have to go to my phone and connect up the Bluetooth. I see the M801 listed here at the bottom, so I'll connect up to that. And now this thing should be connected. So now it's connected to my phone. Let me try to play something from here. I got my website up, my last video. So it's playing. Let me increase the sound on this. Pretty heavy. And though my knee were... Oh, hi. Welcome to play this video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do a box opening of sort. A bunch of packages I ordered recently all came together into one larger box that I opened up yesterday and just pulled everything out. I was so this is the actual speaker over. talking, this might be a good video taking over the sound show people from my phone. But I decided not to have the big box sitting on the table here with all the wrappings in it. So hopefully you understand. Most of the stuff that came in relates to my latest edition. So you could connect any Bluetooth device to produce the sound that you want. Let me stop this. I'm planning on getting for it. My video is still playing, but it paused at this point. So that's how the Bluetooth would work. So the only thing that I can't test then is the 3.5 millimeter jack to a auxiliary or another mic. They do work. So if I want to make this thing waterproof again, I close up these little hatches and then it's completely waterproof. So if you want to use this, you know, some sort of a speed racing event and you want to be the coach, you could do that. Nice little device. I'll put the link down below on how you could buy your own, okay, if you're interested. Thanks for watching.